Not sure if I can answer your question in the most concise way, but I'm going to try. Um, we don't use the message alert like what you're describing um, in our services. Uh, we actually just text the parents. Um, but we, uh, if you wanted to put something on that front screen, I'm assuming you want like a little badge number or something up on the screen. Um, in order to put something up there, you're going to use a message. And so there's, um, or you might, there may be a couple options, but message, this is the first thing I'm thinking through. Um, so if you do a message, we're going to create a new message and we'll just call it a kids alert. Um, each message actually holds a theme. All right, so if you don't see this message detail with the editor down below, um, you're going to want to expand that editor so you can get down here. Now, what we want to do is we want to add a theme. And in this case, I haven't created a theme for that yet. So I'm going to just say we have a new theme. We'll call that theme uh, Kids Alert. It's going to open up the themes editor. And in the themes editor, it just gives us a basic text uh, box. And you can, you can move and change and add shapes or colors, whatever you want. Uh, but the cool thing about text box is if you come in here under the text editor, you can choose linked text. And we want to link this text to something. Now, I tried a few of these options just offline to see what I could find. And most of what you see in here is only going to show up on your confidence display. It won't show up on your main display. And so that makes it a little complicated. But in order to show something on the main display, you can use this file option. Now, uh, what I've done is I've created a file on my desktop. And it's, uh, so I'll go through the process. I just opened up uh, text edit. I created a file. I said kids alert number one and this could be like badge so we'll call it uh, kids badge one for example and then I'm just going to save this on some part of my computer so I'm going to put it on my desktop um, call it kids alert and I already had one there so I'm going to replace it but if you didn't have one it's there now all right so if we just look at my desktop I've got this little file um, and ProPresenter can read the contents of that file but we need to tell it that file is there. So we're going to select the file. We'll say it's on my desktop, kids alert, hit open. And now you can see that the text is actually going to reference um, that file, whatever contents of that file it's going to put on screen. Um, now, if you wanted to make this something that just kind of goes in the corner, we can expand the size of it, something like that, just however you want to do it. Um, but it's going to, it's going to show that now, All right? So we'll go to our show. Now, just because we made a theme doesn't mean it's applied to this alert. So under messages and you find your alert, you need to go and edit that theme and actually apply that theme, right? So now we actually have a theme that it's going to go for and we hit the show button and boom, there's your kids badge. And it shows up here as a message. If you wanted to clear the message, but not clear what's on the screen, you could just hit the clear message button, um, but you hit the show button or you can hit the hide button down here to take it away. Now that is currently showing kids badge one, but if you wanted, you can go into your file and, and say we want uh, kids badge 201. Um, just uh, save that, go back into ProPresenter, hit show, and now you can see we've got the new badge number. And I think you could actually, I haven't, I haven't tested this offline, but let's just say also um, uh, badge, if I could spell, 303. And we'll just hit save, hit the show button. Oh, it looks like it actually updated. Since I had it on screen, it actually updated as I was updating the file. Um, but you would probably want to hide that, modify your file uh, to show whatever you want it to show. And then once you've saved that, go ahead and hit the show button to put it back up there. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure if that's the ultimate option for us here, um, but that, that is an option. You could also modify this theme. There's some other cool stuff you can do with it if you have the right version of ProPresenter. Um, you could make this uh, scrolling text and it will actually scroll across the screen and repeat. Um, so now that we've just toggled on scrolling text for that, um, let's show the badge and see what we get. And so, I mean, you can obviously change anything that you want there to make it what you want it to be. Hopefully that helps.